assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine as you know we have completed the poem titled the laburnum top today we will try to discuss the literary devices which have been used in this poem and we will also discuss the questions of the text of this poem the laburnum top <clears throat> now let us start the literary devices which have been used in this poem are alliteration simile metaphor personification transfer epithet now let us first discuss these with the examples and then we will discuss the questions number first literary device which have been used in this poem is that is alliteration alliteration means a repetition of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive words alliteration means a repetition of a of a consonant sound a repetition of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive words the instance on uh, the instances of alliteration in the poem are as follows alliteration means repetition of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive words the instances of alliteration in the poem are as follows jo instances hain jo poem mein istemal hain are as follows september sunlight this is alliteration another word is that is trees trembles the second device which have been used in this is that is simile simile means comparison between two things using like or as actually simile the definition of simile is comparison between two things using like or as but the instance or the example which have been used in this in this poem is that is sleek as lizard sleek as a lizard this is simile now there is another word that is there is another this device which have been used in this poem is that is metaphor metaphor means an indirect comparison between two things indirect comparison between two things generally a quality is compared generally a quality is compared here in this metaphor a quality is compared so metaphor means an indirect comparison between two things two things are they are comp they are there is a there the a comparison is made but that is an indirect comparison that is an indirect comparison so metaphor means an indirect com comparison between two things generally a quality is compared for example she enters the thickness and a machine starts up the noise created by the moment of the words is compared to the machine's noise right she enters the thickness and a machine starts up that means here a noise the noise is created by the moment of the words and that is compared to the machine's noise so there is a comparison between the noise created by the moment of the words with the machine with the machine's noise now it is the engine of our family it is the it is the engine of her family now showing her buried face identity mask showing her buried face identity mask so this was metaphor now there another that device which has been used in this poem that's let us let us first of all know what is personification 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 means the attribution of personal nature characteristics to something known human that means um, the attributes of personal nature uh, characteristics to something known humans jo non humans ko hum attribute dete hain as a human so that is called personification that means the contribute the attribution of personal nature of personal nature characteristics to something known human for example here jo hai jo uh, example yahan pe samal hui hai that is the whole tree trembles and thrills whole jo jo tree hai wo uski tremble bhi nahi hote thrills bhi nahi lagi it is this quality is related to the this is uh, related to the human being so this is this is uh, so this this have been Uh, this have been given to the tree so this this is personification that means the whole tree trembles and thrills 
now there is another device which have been used in this poem is that is transferred epithet the figure of speech where the adverb is transferred to another noun figure of speech where the adverb is transferred to another noun for example her buried face identity mosque her buried face identity mosque so this was an example related to the transfer epithet so these were the devices which were used in this poem now there are the there are questions now the questions are find out what labanum is called what labanum is called in your language what labanum is called in your language in the hindi language the labanum tree is called uh, amaltos now question number second which local bird is like the goldfinch goldfinch a bird hai which local bird is like the goldfinch indian uh, lutino litno ring neck is like the goldfinch indian lutino ring neck is like the goldfinch question let me repeat it which local bird is <coughs> like the goldfinch indian Lut lutino l u t i lutino ring neck is like the goldfinch lutino huh? now think it out what do you notice about the beginning and the ending of the poem what do you notice about the beginning and the ending of the poem <coughs> at the beginning and at the ending of the poem the lebanon tree was standing still silent like death like it was at the beginning it was still it was standing still khamoshti silent thi and just like the death like jab birds is pe aa gaye to phir isme zindagi aayi bahar aaya uske baad birds chale gaye to same position ho gayi jab wo pe jaise wo pehle thi so at the beginning of the and and the and at the beginning and at the end of the ending of the poem the lebanon tree was standing still and silent just like death like <coughs> just like death like now now the question is to what is the birds moment compared what is the basis for the comparison ye birds jo bird jo hai iski moment kis ke sath compare ki jati hai iski basis kya hai answer is the gold finch moment is compared to the to that of the lizard iski jo moment hai it is compared to that of the lizard because she was abrupt sleek and alert she was abrupt sleek and alert the same moment were observed when she arrived at the tree and move to the thickness side of the branch to feed her young swans so what is the bird's moment compared to what is the bird's moment compared the moods the goldfinch's moment is compared <coughs> to that of the lizard because she was abrupt sleek and alert the same moments were observed when she arrived at the tree and moved to the thickness side of the branch to feed her young young ones <coughs> now the question is why is the image of indian evoked by the poet why is the image of the indian why here the image of indian has been evoked by the poet answer as the indian is the source of runs as the indian is the source to run the machine the bird is compared to the indian as is as she is feeder of her family as a machine cannot work without an indian her family cannot last without her indian without her सो एज ए मशीन के नॉट वर्क विदाउट एन इंजन मशीन कोई भी काम इंजन के बगैर नहीं कर सकती है सो so, इसी तरह ये जो फैमिली है इन द फैमिली कैन के नॉट लॉस्ट विदाउट हर सो दैट इज़ वाई दिस हैज़ बीन दिस हैज़ बीन रिलेटेड विद द इंजन बिकॉज द इंजन कैन बिकॉज द मशीन के नॉट वर्क विद द इंजन इन द सेम वे दिस फैमिली के नॉट लॉस्ट विदाउट हर विदाउट द दिस विदाउट द गोल्ड फिंच विदाउट द बर्ड क्वेश्चन इज वट डू यू लाइक वट डू यू लाइक मोस्ट अबाउट द पॉइम पॉइम में आप ज़्यादा क्या पसंद करते हैं आंसर आई लाइक द कंपेरिजन ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ ट्री बिफोर एंड आफ्टर द गोल्ड फिंच बर्ड एराविज एंड इट मेक्स द डेथ लाइक ट्री अलाइव यही जो कंपेरिजन है यानी जब ट्री पहले थी ये इट वॉज सिटेंड सिटिल एंड साइलेंट इट वॉज जस्ट लाइक द इट वॉज जस्ट लाइक इट वॉज अ ट्री बट इट वॉज विदाउट विदाउट द Uh, allowness and it was it seems that it is dead tree now when the bird comes on the tree on the branch of the tree on the in the environment of the tree of the gold finch arrives and it makes the bird death like tree alive now what does the phrase her buried face identity mask mean the phrase her buried face identity mask means that the bird's face became her identity and the symbol of recognition 
note down the sound words the moment words the dominant color in the poem answer is the sound words are um, twitching chirp chitterings trillings whispering these are the sound words now the dominant color in the poem is um, comes enters nahi the these are the moment now the moment words are comes enters these are moment words twitching they were the they were actually the sound words now the moment words are uh, comes enters starts up pilots splits up splits up um, launch savvy tremble subside now the dominant color in the poem is that is yellow color list the following words which describe sleek alert and abrupt kaun se words hain they are lizard machine and suddenness now the words with the sound ch as the chart and tr as in trembles in the poem wo kaun kaun se words that is uh, that sound ch that is cold finch branch chatterings now chirrup chirrup uh, now and tr that, that is thrillings twitching tremors right now the words other sounds that occur frequently in the poem that is kun kun se sound jo frequently poem mein ye uh, occur ho rahi hai that is ing sound in words like twitching chitterings wings thrillings whispering so this is complete exercise ye lesson complete ho gayi aapka bahut bahut shukriya understand kiya hoga thank you bahut bahut shukriya